here we back yeah we back now today's video is going to be a follow-up video to when i dropped last night in regards to um the european descendant who was crowned miss south africa i felt like i had to do a follow-up video because i wasn't going to go back and forth with these south africans in the comments section you know it's just too much ignorance for me you know it's just only so much ignorance a black man can take all at one time man i have a very i have a very low tolerance for the ignorance you know so i had reached my limit so i just um figured i'd just make a follow-up video to address my stance and respond to some detractors so for those of y'all that don't know to summarize there was this whole you know miss south africa 2024 and it was a big fiasco a lot of controversy surrounding it due to one of the contestants a young lady by the name of uh chadima adichina take a look up on the screen as you can see very beautiful you know african woman shout out to her it was a lot of backlash to her participating because there were a lot of south africans who felt that she was not a so-called you know a real south african right we need a real south african to represent our true values our true culture right we need a real native of the soil we need a real daughter of the nation to represent us on the world stage so anyways after the controversy reached a boiling point the young lady shadima decided to bow out voluntarily and then i think yesterday the results were uh given out and it turns out that you know a so-called a daughter of the soul was given the title right a daughter of the nation right take a look up on the screen young lady by the name of mia laroe right mia laroe you know real african woman as you can see right uh she won the whole competition so i did a video last night basically reacting to the uh developments and there were a lot of South Africans that came into the comment section explaining, oh man, you know, Mia is a real South African. I don't care what you think. You just an American. Who cares what you think? Whatever, whatever. Worry about your own country. Go fix Nigeria. Meanwhile, I never even been to Nigeria. I mean, I, I got Nigerian homies, you know, shout out to my Nigerian brothers. They're my family. But I'm, I never been to Nigeria. I'm not a Nigerian. I, you know, I probably got, you know, some distant you know ancient ancestor probably from that region but i'm not a nigerian but you know the xenophobia is so crazy they was in the comment section telling me to go fix nigeria anyways one thing that stuck out to me in the comment section a lot of folks they kept talking about oh man chadima is a fraud she committed fraud she committed identity theft she's not a real south african there's there was an investigation you don't have all the information whatever whatever right so i went and did some you know i did some digging right i was like okay she committed identity theft whatever let me, let me go see what's going on right let me go see what's going on so i went to um what is it called the ministry of home affairs i guess that's the department and government in south africa that that deals with things such as you know citizenship and documents and things like that right so i, I seen they put out a statement about two to three days ago and this is what they had said the department of home affairs acknowledges the media and public interest into the ongoing investigation requested by the miss south africa pageant the update provided yesterday indicates that our team is hard at work to establish the full set of facts and committed to communicating those facts in a transparent manner at the appropriate time to safeguard the integrity of the process the department will however not be commenting publicly again until we are in a position to announce the final outcome of the inquiry we are committed to concluding the investigation speedily we also call on south africans to support our work by safeguarding due process respecting the constitutional rights of all parties at all times and refraining from inflaming divisions by upholding these principles we can rebuild the rule of law together now i had endless amount of south africans coming to the comment section talking about oh man she committed fraud she committed theft oh man she a foreigner oh man she an outsider oh man you know just all this nonsense right but when i read the statement this doesn't seem to me to be a statement of a final verdict right where a verdict has been reached in the case we have gathered all the necessary evidence and we have gathered all the facts and now we're presenting it to the public to me you know, when I read certain key words that say our team is hard at work to establish the facts or we are committed to concluding the investigation, to me, it suggests that the process is still ongoing. Right. So no definitive verdict has been made. But like I said, when you are inspired by the spirit of xenophobia, you don't need a full investigation. All you need is the all you need is the suggestion. And then you just off to the races. Right. That's that's all it is. Right. That's all it is. So anybody using this statement from the ministry of home affairs to justify the xenophobia you're simply reacting prematurely and you're trying to mislead the public you're trying to mislead the public i had endless south africans coming into my comment section talking about oh my god the, the black immigrant criminals you know committing fraud and identity theft meanwhile the investigation ain't even been concluded yet but like i said man you can't expect much man you can't expect much from people who get courageous around the black man but meanwhile when they get around a white man who owns 90 percent of the goddamn farmland and controls the levers of control of the economy man they don't be saying none of that nonsense 
They don't be saying none of that, oh man, are you a real South African? They be saying, my South African brother. So, nigga, I ain't trying to hear none of that stupid ass shit y'all talking about. I don't respect that dumb ass shit. And on top of that, I've been watching the situation closely for, for a few weeks now, right? This whole debacle about whether she's a real citizen or not, does she got the real documents or not, it only came out very recently in the past week. But before that, before any of that came up, they already made up their mind due to the fact that she had Nigerian ancestry. To them, that was a deal breaker. They didn't need no investigation. They were, they was already standing in opposition to her way before any investigation was launched. So for them to try to act like it's about documents, it's about documentation, it wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. Because long before anybody even brought that up, long before anybody took anything to the government ministers, y'all was already standing against that young lady from the jump. From the jump. And it was only when the Ministry of Home Affairs put out this half-baked statement talking about we investigating, that was all you needed. That was all the confirmation you needed. They didn't even give you a verdict. They just said, you know, we're going to look into the claims. And because they said they were going to look into the claims, y'all took that and ran with it and said she got fraudulent documents. Meanwhile, the government themselves said the investigation is still ongoing and we are still gathering the facts and we have not come to a conclusion. But anyways, man, let's take a look at some of the reactions, you know, on social media, things like that. Uh, take a look up on the screen. I had this person come into the comment section. They said, first off, the backlash was not over her having a Nigerian father. The controversy was that the young lady was not legally a South African. Her mother, a Mozambican national, used fraud and identity theft to illegally obtain South African identity. The young lady herself is therefore not a South African citizen and cannot be eligible to compete in Miss South Africa. Where's the problem? Where's the xenophobia? Where's the Afrophobia? The people who are pushing this agenda are the true racists. Now, I don't know if this is a black South African. Sometimes in these discussions, sometimes, you know, the white South Africans be trying to jump in and, and you know, give their two cents and some of the other, you know, like I said, the rainbow nation. So I don't know if this is a black, you know, native South African, but they're trying to say, oh, we not mad because she had a Nigerian father. We mad because she got illegal documents. But that's not the case because this backlash has been going on for weeks. When that petition was made, when they made that petition signed by thousands of people to remove her from the context, that came before any investigation was made. Before anybody looked into any documents, y'all already had y'all mind made up. So don't try to come around talking about, oh, nah, it's not because of xenophobia. It's not because she Nigerian. It's because, you know, she don't got the proper document. Y'all some liars, bro. Y'all, but, but I'm accustomed to that because I've been doing battle with xenophobes for, for years on this channel. And when you go, when you do battle with xenophobes, when you debate with xenophobes, they're not honest people. They're not honest. They don't deal in good faith. They don't deal in good faith. They twist whatever narrative they could twist to justify their ignorance. I'm so accustomed. Y'all know when I first came on YouTube, I was doing battle with Tarina Sheed for months. And his and his supporters came into my comment section. I, I'm so accustomed to dealing with the xenophobic black mind. Y'all are not honest people. You're not honest people, man. Let's continue. This person said, you should have said a South African woman won Miss South Africa. There's no need to say a white woman. At this stage, nobody knows where Shadima was born. She was frauded, as we know Nigerians are good at that. Now, like I said, man, a xenophobic black mind. I didn't even mention Nigerians anywhere. I didn't, did I even say the word Nigerian in my video yesterday? I don't even think so. I don't even think I even said the word Nigerian, right? But like I said before, you had people come into the comment section telling me, hey, go fix Nigeria. <laughs> they go, what the fuck? I, nigga, I'm not from Nigeria. But anyway, I just told him, man, French people cannot be Africans. That's how I feel. That's my opinion, right? That's my, that's my opinion. The same way he believes that Nigerians commit fraud, I believe French people cannot be Africans. That's how I feel, right? We can agree to disagree, right? We can agree to disagree. I don't believe anybody whose ancestry goes back to, to the forest and wildlife of, of you know, the, the Celtic tribes of France. I don't believe, I don't consider her an African woman, right? You do. I mean, of course, a South African might feel differently, you know. No, no, that's my South, that's my South African sister. But nigga, I don't, I don't, I don't got to acknowledge that shit. I don't got to acknowledge that bullshit. Let's continue. This person said, Shadima is not South African. She is born in South Africa from foreign parents with no status in South Africa. Being born in South Africa does not make one a South African like other countries. Why are you not talking about the fraud case? So he said, why am I not talking about the fraud case? So I decided to talk about the fraud case and I discovered that the fraud case hasn't even come to a verdict. Right. But like I said, in a xenophobic mind, you don't need a full investigation. All you need is a suggestion. All right. That's all you need. All you got to do is make the suggestion and they'll run with the allegation. Right. That's how it is in a xenophobic mind. You don't need no research or, or confirmation <laughs> because they already had their mind made up long before the investigation was launched. They had their mind made up weeks ago. I've been watching the situation. I'm not new to this. I've been watching. I think I could fool me talking about, oh, the fraud case. Nigga, the fraud case was launched like the last week. Anyways, man, this lady said comparing a white South African woman who is a legal 
white South African woman meeting the requirements made by the pageantry with a black South African woman whose parents had to obtain her citizenship fraudly for their own selfish reasons is wild. Do you know how embarrassing this would have been for Chidima to be investigated by the Americans after she won Miss Universe through her South African papers? You are missing the point here. You will have to live in our country to understand the pain that Nigerians have caused. Look into our history. Our forefathers have fought and died in the hands of each other to win against the white man. We're just 30 years into the freedom of the union. My ancestors have fought hard for my freedom today to be able to share space with a white woman my age. What we won't tolerate is a fraudster to represent us to make you happy or to make us more African. You're quick to second xenophobic nonsense without looking into the deeper reasons of how or where it all started until it's your own son being given drugs to sell to their fellow classmates or your sister being trafficked and killed. Now, once again, somebody talking about she allegedly obtained fraudulent citizenship, right? Even though, like I said, Shadima herself was born and raised in the country. She did not obtain any fraudulent citizenship. They're trying to punish the child for the alleged, the alleged sins of the mother or the father. Meanwhile, they won't even punish the, the goddamn white South African for the crimes of the mother and the father, right? When it comes to them, oh, that's the past is the past. We moving into the future. That's my brother and sister, right? But when it comes to other black South Africans, we have to punish them for the alleged, not even to confirm the alleged crimes of the father. But we have confirmed crimes of the white South Africans, but they won't be punished. Those are your brothers and sisters because you a coward. You're a coward. It is what it is. You're a coward. Just embrace your cowardice. Embrace your, embrace your reputation as a coward. That's all it is, man. Just embrace it. Stop acting like your, your ancestors. We we fought the white nigga. Stop it. Nigga, we, we fought the white man. You know, big up to Shaka. You know, big up big up to King Shaka. Big up to King Dengane. Big up to the real big up to the real steppers back in the 19th century. You know, when a black man in South Africa really had, you know, really had pride and dignity and honor to fight to the death against the white man. But nigga, stop it. I guarantee if Shaka came back from the grave, if King Sechawayo came back to the grave, y'all would tell him, relax. Don't don't hurt our don't hurt our South African brothers and sisters. Stop. Stop being so violent. Stop. That's what you would tell him. You wouldn't you wouldn't mobilize behind them and, and wage war against the white South African. You would never. You would never. Cause I know the history of South Africa. I know the black man in South Africa. He he was a real one. He was a real gangster. He was he was not to be played with back in the day, right? Back in the day, the black man from South Africa was not to be played with. He was not to be messed with. The Europeans had a very hard time conquering the region of South Africa. They had a very hard time. A lot of them died. A lot of them got sent to hell, right? But that spirit is dead. That spirit is gone, man. That spirit is gone, man. Stop. Y'all talking about the white man, my brother and sister. Now stop, man. Y'all try trying to summon the y'all trying to summon the spirit of King Sechawayo, man. That shit is gone, man. That shit dead. Stop it. Stop it. Anyways, man. I responded to her and I told her, You won't tolerate a fraud to represent you. But you tolerate the sons and daughters of the apartheid regime to maintain control of your economy and society. This is why nobody respects these nationalist speeches. And it's a fact, man. It's a fact, man. It's a fact. I, I could respect it. Like I said in my video yesterday, I could respect it if it was equal across the board, right? If it was equal across the board. If, you know, the black man got set on fire and then the white man got the same treatment, right? The black man's business got attacked and the white man got the same treatment, right? The black man was put under investigation to see if he's a real citizen and, you know, punish him for the crimes of the mother and father. And the white man got the same treatment. I would be like, you know what? This is just their culture, right? They have a culture of pride and nationalism and, and you know, it's no bias, right? Everybody gets the same treatment, right? Black, white, Indian, Chinese. Listen, everybody's going to be put under a fine tooth comb and be investigated to make sure you are a real citizen. You got to respect their culture. But I don't respect it when, when, when it's the black man and the black woman, you become this, this nationalist, patriot, warmonger, ready for war. But when it comes to everybody else, oh, that's just a, that, that's a legal citizen. Yeah, yeah, she, she's a son. She's a son and daughter of the apartheid regime. But that's a that's my that's my fellow citizen. Citizen. you're a coward you're a coward you're a coward i also want to go back to something she said right she said her ancestors fought so she could share the same space as a white woman um baby girl your ancestors were not waging war and mobilizing for war against the europeans so that their descendants can share space with white people your ancestors are waging war against the europeans so they could eradicate the europeans from the soil okay that, that that's what King Setuwaya was waging war for. He wasn't waging war so you could share a space with a white woman your age. She he was waging war so the Europeans could be driven back into the ocean, right? These xenophobic idiots are so cowardly, they're even twisting the narrative of their own ancestors. They're talking about King Setuwaya was waging war to share space with Europeans. Jesus, no, he was not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They even lying on their own forefathers to defend the xenophobia. Cowards. Let's continue. This person said Yes, Mia LaRoe is a true South African. End of story. This person said, Mia is a South African. You guys can scream your lungs out all you want. It doesn't matter. The African continent has 54 countries. You're free to choose any country to associate with. 
This person said, the winner is a South African born. Her last name is South African. We know it. The other one is not. We don't celebrate frauds. I said, her name is literally French. That's like saying Pierre is a South African name. My Lord. This person said, do the real news. You're a dummy of the internet. Tell the full story. South African citizenship is respected if obtained properly. We don't respect you either. Shadima is not South African. Her mother and father are not South African. They're outsiders. Got citizenship by fraudulent means. You don't know the South African struggle. If you don't understand the beef with Israel, that's why you'll never be South African. These guys, like I said, I guess he felt I guess he felt offended because I said y'all be kissing the Arab feet, y'all be kissing the Palestinian feet, but y'all got all this beef and smoke for other blacks on the continent. Yeah, and I stand by that. Yeah, I stand by that. I don't got no love for Arab. Look, I no love for Arab. If I gotta choose between my, my black brother on the continent, my black brother in the diaspora, or I gotta choose between the goddamn Arab. Nigga, it's a no-brainer. I don't gotta I don't gotta contemplate nothing. I don't gotta contemplate nothing. I don't gotta think about nothing. I know I know where I stand. We give a fuck about an Arab. And it's funny because South Africans will say, oh, we stand with Palestine because they stood with us during apartheid. Yeah, well, other black Africans do what you do in apartheid too, but that don't mean nothing to you. That's why I say y'all some cowards, y'all some xenophobes, and that's what it is, and I stand on that. The Arabs in Palestine still what you do in the apartheid struggle, and decades later, you still kissing their feet. You still you still feel obligated to kiss their feet. Meanwhile, the black man in other countries still what you do in the apartheid struggle. Meanwhile, he getting treated like a foreigner. He an outsider. He getting told to leave. Meanwhile, the same people, the sons and daughters of the same people who you are fighting against during the apartheid struggle, you respect them as your fellow citizens. Those are my white South African brothers. You be kissing their feet too. <laughs> Yo, get out of here, man. I don't respect none of that, man. I don't respect none of that, bro. I don't respect none of that. He said you don't respect me? What well, a feeling is mutual, bro. We don't got to respect each other. It's cool. We don't got to respect each other at all. Anyways, I responded to him and I said this. How did the ancestors of the white South Africans obtain their citizenship? How did they obtain control of the economy and the land? He, re he responded, he said, they got their citizenship when Africa was split prior, during and after apartheid by going to home affairs, getting a birth certificate and an ID. These people you're fighting for got citizenship somewhere else in Africa. The rule in South Africa are for you to be a South African, your mother and father need to be South African by descendants. Being born here doesn't make you South African. We will not be deterred by your emotional bias video. Your brother, you brothers need to learn the law of the land. You, um, your American accent won't get you respect, my boy, because everyone can see through you. You're just clowning. You have looked over all the facts and findings by the home affairs. If it's so bad in South Africa, they are free to leave. He's talking about the facts and findings of home affairs. Then I went to home affairs. They talking about we still gathering the facts and the findings. <laughs> clown, 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 clown. And he's talking about the white South Africans got their citizenship by going to home affairs and getting an ID. No, they didn't. They, they came on the land and they thugged you out the land. You know what I'm saying? They, they got real gangster with it and thugged you out the land. And because they thugged you out the land, you... you let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Because I got some good South African brothers that follow me. I do not want them to catch any collateral damage, any collateral heat. Let me let me just relax. I'll be getting passionate. Let me let me just move on. Anyways, anyways, anyways. This person said her mother stole someone else's identity, but you won't mention that. I said the white South African stole your ancestral land. That's why I say, man, y'all some cowards, man. Y'all talking about y'all talking about she, she allegedly, allegedly, because the investigation is still ongoing. She uh, not even she because she didn't do nothing. Her mother allegedly did something right now in the twist of events. Now we have to punish the child for the sins of the mother and father, but they won't punish the goddamn white South Africans for the sins of the mother and father. The white South African to tell you I wasn't born there. The white South African to tell you I wasn't born during apartheid. I, I didn't hurt nobody. I didn't do nothing to nobody. But that same that same benefit of the doubt is not given to the black woman. That same benefit, you give it to the white man and the white woman, but that same benefit of the doubt is it given to the black woman. And you're going to tell me you're not some cowards? You're going to tell me you, you guys aren't some spineless jellyfish? Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Anyways, this person said, we South Africans do not care because her mother committed identity fraud. Her mother is Mozambican and her father is Nigerian. Now they keep running with this this identity fraud thing. Meanwhile, a verdict has not even been reached. It's like imagine you put somebody on trial for murder, right? The jury has not even deliberated on the case. We have not even presented all the evidence to the jury. Man, we still got like, you know, five more court appearances to make before we even reach a verdict. They already done reached their own verdict, man. Listen, they keep talking about identity fraud. Meanwhile, the case is still ongoing. So at this point, there is no facts in this case. It's nothing but accusations. It's nothing but allegations. It's nothing but assumptions and suspicions and 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 inaccurate claims at this point right that's all it is it's not, it's not a verdict that's been reached with any with any fact findings of the case that's been finalized 
but just off an allegation just off an allegation that's all they need meanwhile we have absolute documented facts that the so-called white south african brother and sister that you claim is a fellow citizen of the nation we have we don't have allegations we have facts we have facts they committed crimes against humanity against your forefathers they committed crimes against humanity they displaced you they restricted your freedom of movement they they undereducated you they underfunded you they crammed you into little shanty towns and shacks they committed sexual violence against your mothers and your grandmothers that ain't allegations them is facts those is facts but you find it in your heart to let bygones be bygones and move forward and don't look in the past right but meanwhile when it's an allegation against a black woman we don't even need the facts we don't even need the verdict we come to the conclusion and the the, the child is going to pay the child and the grandchild and the, and the descendants all the way down the line are going to pay for the crimes of the mother and father meanwhile you have white south africans who's still walking around right now from the apartheid regime you won't even walk up to them and curse them out you won't even walk up to them and, and slap them in the face but you want to act big and bad in front of the black man. I don't respect a coward, man. I don't respect a coward. Go direct your energy to the to the man who controls the economy. Go direct your energy to the man who owns the farmland. Don't come to me talking crazy, nigga. Don't pump your chest to me, nigga. You a coward. Let's continue. I responded to him and I said, the winner is a descendant of French refugees. She's talking about this lady is a Mozambican and a Nigerian. All I hear is she's a real African woman. That's all I heard. I, all I heard was Shadima is a real African woman. That's all I heard. Because when I look at this lady, a goddamn French descendant, huge now who was escaping religious persecution in France back in the 16, 1700s, nigga, I don't look at her as no real African woman. She's a goddamn descendant of French refugees that got driven out of France. And one common thing you hear from the black South Africans, they say, well, you know, the white South Africans, the European South Africans, they've been here for centuries. They've been with us for centuries, right? They've been here for centuries. They've been here for centuries and they haven't mixed into the population yet. They've been here for centuries and they look like they just landed off a plane last night. They've been here for centuries and they somehow never mixed in with y'all. They've made sure to never mix with y'all. They made sure to make sure they keep a, a genetic distance with y'all. But but y'all but y'all claim, oh, they Africans just like us. Well, I don't think they look at this. I don't think they look at themselves as just like you. Because they made sure for all them centuries they've been here to stay the fuck away from you. Right? <laughs> they made sure to stay the hell away from you. Anyways, man, this person said, at least she is a true South African. Her mother never committed fraud. This person said, this is not the first time we had a, a Miss South Africa who was white. You have white Miss South Africa. Even Zimbabwe is having a, a Miss Zimbabwe who's white. Secondly, you're a very lazy YouTuber. Shadima's mother stole a South African baby's identity. What? You are still behind with the news as those who called her xenophobic when the home affairs exposed that her identity belonged to a person whom the mother stole 23 years ago. Educate yourself. I responded, I said, the white South Africans stole your entire ancestral inheritance of native land, but I haven't seen a single mass mobilization to reclaim what they stole from you. But you suddenly became a fearless patriot because of a stolen ID. This is why no one respects these fake nationalist speeches. This person said, mind your own business. South Africa does not need Americans interfering. Sort out your own problems. I responded and I said, courageous against the black man but respectful with all other races show me the same respect that you show the dusty europeans who control the economy facts i'm not gonna tolerate that you're not gonna see the white man and show respect and bow your head and say yes sir and then when you see the black man you talk about nigga mind your business so that's your problem nigga go back to nigeria what nigga if you're not go if you're not gonna show that if you're not gonna show that same venom and vitriol to the white man who, who bullied you off the land nigga don't come to the black man pumping your chest at me nigga i don't respect you let's continue this person said her mother committed identity fraud. This was posted a few hours ago, but you purposely left that part out. What does it say about your character? Can she compete in Miss China? Focus on, I don't know what that is. Be a man and go fix Nigeria. Now, this is what I say when I mean, like in, in the xenophobic mind, you don't need facts. You don't, you don't need facts, right? In his mind, he's concluded that I'm a Nigerian the same way he has concluded that this lady's mother committed fraud, even though the, the investigation hasn't even came to any such verdict, right? In his mind, I'm a Nigerian. I'm somewhere, I'm recording somewhere from Lagos. I'm live from Lagos. He don't got no facts. In his mind, he just made that shit up, man. He just confirmed it. That's what, that's what happens in the xenophobic mind, right? You don't need no facts. You just, you just need assumptions and you run with the assumption, right? It's, it's all it is, man. So that's how the xenophobic black mind works, man. The xenophobic black mind doesn't believe in the scientific method. It doesn't believe in coming to a hypothesis and testing and confirming the idea. All you got to do is just throw an idea up in there and just run with it and just keep repeating it over and over and over and over again. Anyways, I responded to him and I said, white South Africans committed crimes against humanity for centuries and still maintain control over the land and the economy that hijacked from your grandfathers. But those are your fellow citizens, though. Cowards. This person said, Everybody in the comment section, and especially Nefakari, doesn't know what you're talking about. Sometimes it helps to ask before you embarrass yourself talking about shit you don't know. 
I responded to him and I said, listen, I'm going to need you to bring the same energy to the descendant of French refugees that just won the competition. This entire fiasco is an embarrassment to the whole continent. He said, we'll get to that, but we first have to deal with the treasonous anti-black Africans first. Now, I'm not even going to read the rest of the garbage that he wrote because it's the same nonsense. Oh, the Ministry of Home Affairs opened an investigation, even though there's no verdict. The case is still ongoing, right? They're still saying we're still gathering evidence. We haven't we haven't got all the facts yet. But like I said, in the xenophobic black mind, you don't need all the facts. So he said, listen, I told him, listen, go direct that energy to the French refugee. And then he said, we'll get to that. But first, you have to deal with the Africans first. But here's the lie. They're never going to get to that. That's that's the hidden that's the hidden gem behind this whole thing. That shit, they're just stalling for time. Whenever you say, okay, cool, I hear you. Go bring that energy to the man who control the economy. Go bring that energy to the people who own the farmland. Go bring that energy to the men who control the levers of control and power in the country. They say, you know what, we'll get to that eventually. But first we gotta deal with the Africans first. But the thing is, they're never gonna get to that. They're not gonna get to that. They're never going to get to that. I just want them to be honest and say, you know what, bro? We have waved the white flag. It's cool. Sometimes in war, you wave the white flag. That happens in war. In war, sometimes you wave the white flag. It's cool, man. It's cool. Just say, you know what, bro? We, we've waved the white flag. When it comes to the white South African, we've waved the white flag. The white South African tried to genocide us and commit biological warfare and, and wipe us off the planet and, and humiliated our forefathers and sexually violated our grandmothers. It's okay. We, we waving the white flag. We, we, we've accepted it. We wave the white flag, we have conceded, we've made concessions, and we have decided to move forward as the Rainbow Nation. Just be honest with me, bro. Just be honest with me. I can accept that. I can accept that, bro. I, I could accept that. I just want y'all to be honest. My thing is just the dishonesty and the deception. That's what I don't like. Just be honest with yourself, bro. Because once, once you can be honest, then we can move forward. But we can't move forward if you're not being honest. Talking about, okay, one day, one day we're going to fight the, one day we're going to fight the white man. One day, eventually, you know, one day we're going to gather our forces one day in, in the distant future. One day, bro, stop. Stop leaving me in suspense. You're never going to fight the white man. You've you've waved the white flag of defeat. You've waved the white flag of acceptance. Just be honest with me as your brother so I can understand how to move forward and operate. Because in my mind, I can't be you can't be telling me we're going to fight the white man. We're going to fight him one day when you know deep down in your heart, you're never going to fight him. And I'm sitting here waiting for you to fight him. But, you know, it's never going to happen. So just be honest with me. Once you're honest with me, then we, we as an African family, we can understand how to move forward. Once we can, once we all came to a consensus that you've realized that you have waved the white flag of defeat. Now, let's continue. This person said, I'm done with this country. Imagine wanting a child to pay for the sins of her mother. And yet these boars will never be made to pay for the sins of their fathers. They never even asked for forgiveness because they knew it'd be given to them anyway. Mic drop. We could we could end the video right there. Anyways, man, it's your boy Never Car. That's a lean back in the building. Yes, indeed. Cash app in the description. Support the album, man. Support the album. Peace. No. Feel like I'm 75. None of your team be full of them traders. You know that can never be mine. I'm grabbing a thought when I drive. I'm back in my zone and we young. She said that she ready to come be my wife. Yeah, hoping I don't do her wrong. I gave her my word and it's wrong. I'm whipping the best like a lamb. I mean, no chicken and lamb. Accustomed to call me the man. They try to make sure that we underneath Try to make sure that we never make it Coming for power, come get acquainted Coming for everything that I wanted Feeling like Drake, but I really wrote it Feeling like Kendrick, I'm checking names Gotta roll up while I go insane Got so much stress, I've been gated away Stuffing these racks in this Louis case One thing for certain, I'm about to check Keeping 100 and nothing less Stick with the family since day one Had to stay down in my day come Had to stay down, but I'm never patient Hop on the mic and I'm motivated Hop on the mic and I drive a classic Haters can't see me, they copping glasses Back in the studio, making magic Got a new tape and it's in production Back on my business, I got a budget Staying low-key when I'm out in public Feel like I'm 75 None of your team be full of them traders You know that can never be mine I'm grabbing a thought when I drive I'm back in my zone and we young She said that she ready to come be my wife Yeah, hoping I don't do her wrong I gave her my word and it's wrong I'm webbing the best like a lamb I mean no chicken and lamb Accustomed to call me the man I never be up on the gram I'm keeping that way on the cover She want me to tell her I love her I told her I'm breaking the rules I told her we making the news